In today's video, I want to show you how you can create mail merge documents that look great directly inside of DocuSign without having to use any third party tool so that your documents look like this. What I mean by mail merge is when the data that you want to add to your document template merges directly in line with the rest of the text of your Word documents so that the document looks really polished. There is no difference in terms of font size or alignment with the rest of the text. And so because it wasn't possible in the past, you had two options. Either you were creating your documents inside of Microsoft Word and then upload the document inside of DocuSign, drag and drop the fields manually, or you ended up in situations where you had too much white space and the variable wasn't actually aligned. But the good news is that now DocuSign comes with a document generation feature. And so in this video, I'm going to explain how it works and how to set it up, and then how you can even automate the generation of these documents without having to do any manual copy paste. Let's use this offer letter as the example. The layout of the document doesn't change very much because we only have some variables here. And then within the body of the document, we have some variables. So here we want to merge the candidate's first name. Here we want to have the start date and the name of the supervisor. So the static text that surrounds the document needs to wrap around the variables that you're going to add inside of your template. But in some cases, documents are much more complex. You might want to add a section of text in each document only if a condition is met. Or you might want to create a table and you want to add a new row for each instance of an item that you want to add to this proposal. In this table with the list of deliverables, we have five rows because five products are being sold to the client. But if 10 products were being sold, we'd want our table to dynamically adapt and have a total number of 10 rows. And this is what the new DocuSign document generation tool can help you with. There are four main steps that we want to take care of to set up our document generation templates. The first step is to create a Word-based template. And you don't have to use Word, you can also use Google Docs. But the file extension has to be docx. And once we have our template, we want to add the merge fields inside of that template so that DocuSign can replace your merge field placeholders with the value that you actually want to add. So instead of candidate's first name, it will say the name of the candidate. Then we want to set up conditional logic on sections of text if that's needed and maybe dynamic tables if that's needed. So this step is optional. And then when this is done, we want to add our DocuSign field so that our recipients can sign a document that was generated. That's how DocuSign document generation works in a nutshell. Now let's see how to set this up in DocuSign. Before I forget, if we haven't met before, my name is Sofian Saudi. I'm the founder of Solution Consulting. I used to be a DocuSign employee back in the days, but since 2020, I've founded Solution Consulting, an agency that helps organizations streamline paperwork. If you deal with lots of paperwork, you can save a tremendous amount of time by automating boring things like document generation, creation, tracking, storing. And so to do this, you first need to learn how to map out your workflow, then build your DocuSign templates, and then set up integrations between those templates and your backend systems so that all the manual tasks are completely automated. And so you can do this on your own by learning from these tutorials, or you can schedule a consultation with one of our document automation consultants. During the call, we will assess your workflow and help you strategize the implementation of DocuSign and other tools so that you can really save time. But if you're more of a DIY person, you can also download our free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet using the link just down below. It will help you get started with DocuSign on the right foot. But for now, let's go back to how to set this up. So step one, if you remember, is to create a Word-based template. My Word document template is here. Now, the second step is to add the merge field that DocuSign also calls sender field inside of that Word template so that DocuSign can replace those placeholders with values and create your document each time you want to use the template. The first option is to use the DocuSign template assistant. But for this, you need to be able to download the Microsoft Word add-in. If your organizations restrict the download of third-party applications, you can use the new DocuSign Agreement Builder. And I'm going to show you how to use both options in this demo. But for now, let's start with option one, which is setting up the fields directly inside of Microsoft Word. Once you've installed the DocuSign Template Assistant, which you can find inside of the Word add-in marketplace, this is what you will see. The easiest way to configure your fields within the Microsoft Word template is simply to respect the syntax that DocuSign expects. Your merge fields need to be between two opening and two closing curly brackets. What I'm going to do now is click on preview and 
Now DocuSign will recognize all the fields automatically. So once you've formatted all of your fields, what you can do is an actual preview. So I filled out the form and now I'm going to click on preview. That's going to give me a document that I can review to check that all my merge fields are merging correctly. And as you can see, everything looks good. So now I can click on upload to DocuSign. I'm going to create a new template and click on upload. As soon as you click on upload, then DocuSign will open a new tab in the browser and you can see instantly it says document generation in the top right corner of that document thumbnail. Now, before I forget, you can only use these templates up to five times if you're not on an enterprise DocuSign plan or if you have not purchased the document generation add-on on top of your plan. So if you're on a business pro subscription, you're on a DocuSign plan that you've purchased directly online, you will only be able to do that five times per template. And at this time, I don't have a price to give you. I've been trying to get it from DocuSign and they haven't uh, given me the information. Anyway, back to our template setup. We're going to add our candidate and then we're going to add our HR and then we're going to click on next. And then the next step is going to be to add our DocuSign fields inside of this template. So my candidate will sign here. And you see, as soon as I drop a field, then I, ha I have this little pop-up telling me that the content of the document might shift. Now, the reason DocuSign is telling me that I need to set up auto place on my field is because the text within the document might get pushed down depending on how much information is entered on the document. And so if the text goes up or down, my signature fields will no longer be placed on the actual signature block on my document. So what I need to do here is to find a string of text that I'm going to use as the anchor and my DocuSign fields will follow. So you want to find a string of text that's as close as possible to the field that you want to auto place. In this case, I'm going to use the word human resources. Even if this paragraph gets deleted, the distance between my anchor and this field will not vary. So I think it's safe to use the word human resources here as my anchor and apply. Now DocuSign will place the, the, the field automatically on the document. And then my job is just to place it back to where I want it exactly. And I need to do this on all the fields that I need to set up auto place for. So pretty much all the fields. That's it for option one. I'm going to save and close. And with option two, you will see that you don't need to set up auto place because your fields are automatically anchored inside of your template. Let me show you how this works. So with option two, we still need to start with a Word document, but you can use Google Docs if you don't have access to Word. And you just want to have your template set up. You don't need to add your variable placeholders formatted the way that DocuSign wants because you're going to have to delete them anyways. DocuSign is not going to be able to read and find those variables automatically even if you format them correctly from the get-go. So from our DocuSign account, we're going to click Start, Envelope and Create a Template. And I'm going to upload my document and then I'm going to add my signers and then click on Next. You're going to be greeted with the new Template Builder Agreement welcome page you don't want to click on use classic editor because if you do that you will not be able to go back to this agreement builder from here what we need to do is to delete all the fields and add them back manually one after the other and that's why i find that option one is faster because we have more merge fields in this case then we have fields that we need to auto place. So here, what I want to do is to replace my first last name, address line one, two city, state, zip, and everything else with sender field. So I need to click on my sender fields tab and add a new field. And I'm calling this candidate first name, leave this as text, and we can make it required to ensure that the senders will be required to fill this out and can't use, can't send the document unless this is filled out. So I'm going to make this one required, delete my two little curly brackets and I'm going to do this for my candidate last name click on add new field and do candidate last name and then I'm going to require this as well and then that's it now if I want to move my fields around I can drag and drop them I'm going to add a space between my first name and my last name now before I move on to the next step which is to add the actual signature fields I want to show you how to use conditions conditions will help you show or hide sections of text based on a condition. Let's just imagine that this offer letter is only valid if the candidate obtains a work visa. So I've just added this sentence here that says that you can only get this job if you get a work visa. I agree with you, it might be a little bit rude, but I like directness. I'm French, what can I do? 
Anyway, so now what we want to do is to make this text conditional to a trigger and that trigger needs to be a field. So we need to use a sender field and depending on the value that the sender field will contain, we will set up a condition that says if the value of this field equals that, then show this sentence, otherwise hide it. So let's do that. I'm going to add a new field and I'm going to call it needs visa. And then I'm going to make it required because it's an important field and I want to make sure that it gets filled out every time by the person who is going to use this template to send a document. And my two options are going to be yes or no. And then I'm going to close this. Now I don't want this needs visa to uh, show on my actual document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the text color white. And now I'm going to create my condition. So I'm going to highlight the text that I want to make conditional and then click on my rule builder, show visa condition. And then in my statement here, I'm gonna use my field as my variable. And I'm saying if needs visa equals yes, then I want to show the following content. You can only get this job if you get a work visa. And I'm gonna say save. Let's do a test to make sure that it works. So we're gonna click on preview. This is the form that I need to fill out. And as you can see, I've made all the fields required. I cannot click on review unless I fill out all my fields. I'm gonna say no, that I don't need a visa. And technically, if it worked, I should not see that red line inside of my envelope preview. There is no red sentence. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but with a yes in the needs visa field. And there you go. So that's how the condition section works inside of DocuSign. Now you can also do that with tables. Obviously in this offer letter, it doesn't apply, but you can insert a dynamic table and then the number of rows will adapt to the amount of information. I'm not gonna show you this in this demo, but I will do another tutorials on how to set up dynamic tables, don't worry. Now the last step is to set up our DocuSign signer fields. And so we don't need to set up auto place, which is great. So I'm just gonna place my cursor where I want my candidate to sign and click on signature. And here I want the name and here I want the date. And I'm gonna do the same thing here for my employer. I'm gonna click on save and close. So to use the template manually, which is super annoying, you're gonna have to click on use and then fill out the form exactly like I did before. So you're gonna have to place a name for the candidate and HR. So fill out the recipient information, which is manual, then click on next, another click. And then you have to fill this out again. And we're gonna say that, yes, I need a visa. You still have to do a lot of manual work. And this is if you are using the template manually. And what I mean by using the template manually is that the data that you're entering in the template comes from you having to copy paste. And so that's the very time consuming part. And that's when uh, errors creep in. What you want to do instead is to create an integration between those templates and your HR or CRM system if you're creating sales proposals, for example, so that your documents can get created in just one click. And then all the data merges from your data source, whatever it is, inside of your documents. If you want to see how to set this up, I've done another video on how to automate document generation using a SharePoint list as your data source and Microsoft Power Automate. So I'd really encourage you to watch this next. But for now, let's just see what the document looks like. The document looks great. We have our needs a work visa. I'm gonna sign this. And then there's nothing that changes from the, in terms of signing experience from the signer's perspective. And again, if you don't want to struggle on your own, that's what we're here for at SolySign. We build the templates and set up integrations with all your everyday apps so that you can save time, money, and headaches. If you're interested, just click on the link just down below to book a strategy session with me and my team. During the call, we will assess your workflow and strategize the DocuSign implementation based on your company's unique needs. I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy signing. Ciao.